part two or the topic of traversing the storms. Hallelujah. Is there anyone who, like, who loves storms? Let me see. Anyone who loves storms? Okay. How many love blessings? Okay, how many love storms? Wow. Alright. We, we need to understand how, how do you traverse the storms? Praise the Lord. So if you missed part one, kindly, kindly, kindly uh, go back to 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 to, to, uh, to the to to the to our stream. So that you can connect. Today I want us to begin from uh, First Corinthians. Uh, let's look at uh, ten thirteen. Praise the Lord. Let us begin with First Corinthians ten thirteen. Ten thirteen. Uh, let's start there. Praise the Lord. As usual, give me the NKGV version. Hallelujah. All right. So let's read together. And it says this. Are we there? No, no, that is NIV. Let's get to the NKJV. Praise the Lord. So 1 Corinthians chapter 10, and we read verse 13. And I will read it for you. It says this. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. And he says, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. Praise the Lord. But with the temptation, will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. Please, if you have a Bible, please underline that in your Bible, because you need to always remember this one. No temptation has overtaken you. Except such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted. Beyond what you are able. But with the temptation. Will also make the way of escape. So we are seeing here the Bible is telling us that. For every storm there is a what? There is a way. For every storm, there is a way of escape. And God cannot allow you to go through a storm that you're not able to manage. So if you are going through it, it is because you can manage it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So God can allow you to go through a storm that is beyond you that you can't hold. Praise the Lord. And if he has allowed it, whenever he allows it, he has also provided a way of escape. This is the word of God. Praise the Lord. He says what? He will also do what? Make the way of what? Of escape. Your storm will not stay forever. Praise the Lord. Now I want us also to go to the book of, 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 of Job. And I want us Ayubu. to proceed from where we left. And I would want us to read Job. And we begin at chapter, from, from chapter 2. Praise the Lord, Job. From Yabu chapter Ayubu. 2. And I, I want us to read. Uh, we had left at verse 10. I want us to move from verse 10. Praise Tuanzie, the Lord. Actually, let's begin from verse 7. So the Bible says this. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took for himself a pot shed with which he scrapped himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. Then, listen carefully, his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. So shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Now let's move on to verse 11. Now, Job had many friends, three friends. They heard of all this adversity that had come upon him. Each one came from his own place. Eliphaz the Temanite, Tam the Bildad the Shuite, and Zorpha the, the, the Amathite. For they had made an appointment together to come and mourn with him and to comfort him. Please underline that part. 
that man they had made an appointment with him and to come there, yeah. and mourn with him and also to comfort him praise the lord we'll come, we'll come to that at some point verse 12, verse 12. and when they raised their eyes from afar they did not recognize him they lifted their voices and wept each one tore his robes and sprinkled dust on his head towards the heaven they sat down with him on the ground seven days and seven nights and no one spoke a word to him for they saw that his grief was what was great praise the lord hallelujah now verse 3 later on we are seeing you can be able to read that we're seeing how job going and now started to lament and cursing the day he was born now Last week we began the topic, and uh, I had mentioned to us about some uh, some, some some signs of storms. And the, the kind of storms that Christians go through, and we talked about some, some of us who go through the storm of sin, whereby you really you are stormy life is sin. You you try to get out of it, you don't know how to. You have tried, you have you are tired. Some of us we go through the storms of sicknesses. Your body is just not working. Praise the Lord. And some of us, we go through the storms of failures. Failures, failures, failures in your, in your career. Failures in your business. Failure in your family. Poverty. And uh, you're wondering what is next. And for those who were there last week, we, we, went, we, we, we began some 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 areas and i want us to move from there praise Olyo the lord now the, the next step of storm, storm that we go through is the storm of where we lack spiritual power where we lack spiritual power i want us to look at matthew 17 verse 20. Matthew 17 verse 20. You know, it is important that a Christian should have spiritual power. Praise the Lord. We need to operate with power. So we cannot be Christians without power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, by the way, before I forget, we had some, some, some great people who contributed to us these wonderful chairs. Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord who we need to, we need to give the Lord our praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to give more details. I, I, I know them and they don't like uh, being known much. Praise the Lord. So I, I will leave that. Daddy, on, but we thank God for them. May the Lord remember them. Amen. Mungo His glory. Hallelujah. So, 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 we are, so at this point in time, hapa, so we are seeing that, uh, that, that he has now come to a place whereby we are, we are, we are, we are, we are now seeing that there is the, as, the aspect of a storm that comes to us because we are lacking spiritual power. As a Christian, you need to walk with power. Praise the Lord. You need to walk with power. There must be power seen in you as a Christian. Let's look at this. So Jesus said, because of your unbelief, for surely I say to you, if you have faith as a master seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here and move it. Nothing will be impossible with you. Praise the Lord. But then later on there, we see Jesus telling them that 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 this bit is important because they were also praying and fasting. Let's move on. I want us also to look at uh, chapter 9 of Mark, verse 23. Chapter 9 of Mark, verse 23. Mark, Praise the Lord. So it is important for us to understand that it is important for a Christian to walk with power. And just said, well, if you can believe all these things, will be possible to all those who believe. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to know this. It is important for you as a Christian to have power. Because when storms come, and you're not operating in the power of God, the spirit, the, 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 spirit, the power of God, those storms will shake you away. Praise the Lord. There are storms that will come, and if you lack spiritual power, they will sweep you away. Some of us, our storms, we lack. We are, we we, are, we consistently fail in prayer. Your prayer life has never gone back to where it was. There's a place you were with God before and you've never been able to go back. You need to overcome that storm. Praise the Lord. Where you walk, there must be power, spiritual power. But then, also, Pia, some of us, we struggle with the, the, the storm of prayer. We can't, you can't pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't pray. You Always try, you can't. Unajaribu, the others who even you try to fast, you can't fast. Praise the Lord. 
But God wants us to be able to overcome this. Now, God has given us promises in His Word. And if we read the first Corinthians, no, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, it says this For all the promises of God in Him are yes. And in Him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, All the promises of God in Him are, ye, are yes, and in Him, amen, to the glory Leona, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's also look at 2 Peter chapter 1 from verse 3 to 4. 2 Peter chapter 1 from verse 3 to 4. 2 Peter verse 1. He says what? As His divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who has called us by glory and virtue. Verse 4. By which we have been given the exceeding great and precious promises that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. People of God, God Atom. has given promises that will take you through the storm. Mungu ahadi ambazo zita Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are Hallelujah. promises of God for every storm. But let me tell you, you must prepare for storm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, but then you could be married, but our storms are different. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it is important that we as God's children, we need to prepare for this storm. So that when the storms come, you speak the promises of God. He says his promises are here in the man. But then you cannot counteract storms with, with crying or loneliness or bitterness. Wezi you overcome storms with the promises of the word of God. Na dhoruba, na Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then let me tell you this today. No, there are some storms that you will go through. Kuna Even pitia. your spouse will doubt the God you serve. Hata mumeo, au mkeo, ata mungu Hello. Hello. Uh, we, we, are, we are seeing in the book of Job the wife told him that do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. Praise the Lord. Wife. But have you ever thought about this woman? She could be, do you know she lost her children? Look at it this way. Look at the wife of Job. I know most of the times we will want to do what? To hit on her. But do you know that she lost her children? She lost her possession. Then her husband, now he's here. He's also now with boils. And I'm Praise the Lord. There are some storms you go through, even your spouse will not understand. And I'm going to cast God and do what? And die. And that's why we need to stand by the promises of God. Hallelujah. I think you even made, made, made a mistake marrying me. Praise the Lord. And we see Job telling the wife, you foolish woman. But let me tell you, it was easier for Job to overcome this, to, to, for Job to, 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 to be able to hold the attack from the wife when he was going through the storm. But we are introduced to some, to some people in his life. And we see some three characters. Praise the Lord. We see three characters that are coming into the life of Job. And there was Eliphaz. The Temanite. There was Bildad. The Shuhite. And there was Zophar the Nahathite. Now hear me carefully. Now, if you go into some deep study, you notice that Eliphaz was uh, his background. They, they, were the, they, they were coming from the family of wisdom. They were connected with Esau and Edom. And they were known as men who are famous for wisdom. If you look at Jeremiah 49 verse 7, the Tamanites were famous for wisdom. 
Utapata kwamba watu hao walikuwa wanajulikana mno kwa hekima yao. Again, that's, that's the Lord is is wisdom no more in Teman. Has counsel perish from the prudent. Has their wisdom vanished. So Temanites were known for what? For wisdom. So it was easier for, for Job to overcome the temptation at the storm. Yeah, when the told him cast God and die. But now his friends have come in. Lakini sasa ndugu zake wamekuja. Praise the Lord. They have come in. Wamekuja. Let me tell you people today. Naomba nikawaambie. When you're going through storms. Unapopitia dhoruba. You'd rather stick to the promise of God. Afadhali ubaki kwenye ahadi za Mwenyezi Mungu. Because you will be tempted from right from the house. Kwa sababu utachukuliwa kutoka nyumbani. Your children will come, will, will come and tell you. Watoto wako watakuja wakwambie. Dad. How comes other children are able to buy lollipop and we can't buy lollipop? Baba, mbona watoto wengine wanaweza kununua? Then you as a father you are wondering. Then even 5 shillings to buy a lollipop I can't get. Hata shilingi 5 za kununua peremende usiezi pata. And then watoto wanakuwa hapo wanakuuliza dad. Eh eh basi ni bonini nuni basi basi ni nuni nuni sweet. Yeah, only one shilling. But you are looking at him, the money you have, you would rather you would rather spend it to buy food for them than to do what? To buy sweets. So, there is a storm that will come, even your own family will doubt you. Because you will be tempted to do what? Praise the Lord. But we stand by the promises of God. But we stand by the stand by the promises of God. But we stand by the promises of God. Praise the Lord. Now Eliphaz was a Tamanite. So he was from the family of Esau and Edom. And so we are seeing these are a people who are had a lot of wisdom. And so definitely when he started speaking to Job, aliponza kumzungumzia Ayub. We see him arguing from the standpoint of human experience. So he brought in human experience. Tunaona akielezea mambo kutokana na msimamo wake. How many of us have gone through things and people try to explain to you why you are going through it? How many have seen things? Wangapi miongoni mwetu tumepitia mambo kisha wanadamu wanaweza kukuelezea kwa nini kunakuelezea. Someone is trying to explain to you why this is happening. Wangapi tumepitia kwa nini jambo hili linakufanyikia? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Na wana kwa wengi sana. Eliphaz used his human experience. Eliphazi alitumia yale ambaye alipitia yeye kama mwanadamu. So after, after, after we saw Job cursing God actually he started really cursing the day of his of his birth. Tulimwona Ayubu akianza ku nena maovu. And then now we see Eliphaz uh, responding and, uh, and, and, and arguing it out to him. And one of the things that all these friends of him wanted to do is that they wanted Job to accept that he has sinned against God and that is why he's suffering. Now, do you think that all suffering are coming because you have sinned? Now, these three friends were trying to, 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 to convince him you have sinned against God. That is why you are going through this. People of God, let me tell you today, today Not all suffering, suffering that you go through is because you have sinned. But what do we do as Christians? We want to explain to them. I think you are going through this tough time. Because I think you must just check your life. Did you do something when you were young? Hey! Let us stop being elephants. Some of us will even use our human experience. You know, you know, even me, I, I, I had gone through it. I had gone through it. Some years back, yeah. So you're using your human experience. So what Eliphaz was doing, he was using his human experience to try to explain to Job why he's going through the hard time. People of God, when these people came to see Job, there were two things that, 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 that they came to see him. They came to bond with him and they came to comfort him. But they did not do number two. Morning they mourned. Praise the Lord. Watch what was Mungu. Then what was Mungu kukuona? Awaongei na wewe for seven days, seven nights. Kwa sababu wamekuvila wamekuona, wameshikwa na butua. They have found you for seven days, seven nights. Wamekupata kwa siku saba, chana na usiku. So what they did, they poured dust on their head. Kile ambacho walifanya, walimuaga vumbi jiwa. Tore their robes. Waka rarua mabazi yao. No one was talking. Hakuna aliekua kizungumza. No one was what? Talking. Hakuna ata moja aliekua kizungumza. For seven days, kwa siku saba, seven nights. Hata kama wewe ni job, utosiki aje. Eni, watu wamekuja kukuona, Juwewe ume 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 gonjeka na boils. Alafu awaongee na wewe. Wanakuangalia tu. Wanaanza kukata manguo zao, wanaanza kukupaka dust kwa kichwa, wanakaa pale. Seven days, seven nights, not talking. 
Praise the Lord. So that tells you Job was in, in a dire state. And some of us today we could have come to church and you're in a dire state. You are in a dire state. You don't even know when will this boils end. Your friends, people whom you valued, are looking at you like Job and they're mourning. Anyone who write off, but they, let me ask you, for these guys to, to mourn for seven days, seven nights, what do you think you are thinking? Ujama maenda. Yeah, praise the Lord. Have you gone to hospital? When the mutu, bila megonjeka, unona watu wana wana watu kumombea ile ile maombi ya mungu wa tukutane binguni vizuri. So people are looking at you. The kind of storm you are going through. Wana watu. Who you? Let's just prepare this one. Who mendika will? They start asking you. Have you done what? The will. They'll ask you by the way. There was a shamba ulikuwa menunua. Iko wapi? So they're trying to find information from you. Because they're looking at you like like this prince of job. Seven days, seven nights. Siku no saba, one is talking. Siku na mchana, so there are tough times that Kuna people go through. Where even the people who are your, your best friends, they doubt. They doubt whether wako, you, you are wa, still with God. Oh, yeah, wewe, we, ulifanya dhambi. Hmm. And by the Christians, we are so common. We are so famous for that. We see something wrong happening, we think that there's sin. Sindio? Well, so, 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 who told you? Job had not sinned against God. The Lord permitted the enemy. Praise the Lord. So we are seeing now, this man, Eliphaz, using human experience, and that's what we do with each other. Who told you that you are the one who is the one who is the one who is you are using human, your experience. Don't use human experience. Eliphaz was bringing what? Human experience to try to explain why this man has sinned and this man should repent. Praise the Lord. Remember, when they came to see him, in verse 11, they came to do things. They came to mourn with him and to comfort him. The part of comforting they did not do. Comforting you, they mourned. Did they mourn? They mourned very well. Seven days, seven nights, they, they, they tore their clothes, they poured dust on the head, and they kept silent. Mourning, they mourned well. Preparing for this man to die. Yani wame kuangalia, wame wame right off. Because you have gone through storms. Wame sema, wame ume? Umeisha. People of God, you are not yet over. Mtu it is not yet over mba. until God is over with you. Haijaisha. And today you must stand. You must go over the storm. You must traverse the storm. You cannot stay in the storm. You must come out of the storm. Don't hear Eliphaz. Usiwe Eliphaz. People will give you human experience. The other friend that he had was Bildad. Bildad was a Shuhite. Now, but then Bildad was, uh, was the youngest son of Abraham. Do you remember Abraham had another, another wife called Ketura? Okay. Uh, how many wives did Abraham have? Abraham have? All of us know Sarah. But at some point, Sarah died. Do you remember? You know Sarah died at some point? And he remarried? Praise the Lord. Now, this Bill man, Bildad, Bildadi. was uh, 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 the youngest son of Abraham and the one that uh, and, and they had him with Ketura. And so he, he brings to, 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 to Job his viewpoint from human tradition. So we are saying Eliphaz brought what? Human experience. Even me, I went through it. And during my time, I did one, two, three. Now, now this man, uh, what it, it did, build that is that he brought in human tradition. Wakati tulikuwa wazee huko kimatamaduni kama ungepitia hii tukuwa tunanunua kuku unatinda kuku sio unaona kuambia hizo maneno. 
So that's what how we deal. We find that someone is going through a storm. We want to bring our traditions to sort them out. Let me tell you, human traditions cannot stop storms. The Bible tells us this, that God has an escape route for you in your storm. And he will not allow you to go through what you can't hold. So if you are going through it right now, it's because there is grace for you to go to hold on. Praise the Lord. He says he has released grace for you to hold on. For you to bear it. But when the grace is over, there is an escape route. His word declares. But what do we do? We want to use human tradition. You know, in, in uh, us, if, if, if this was happening, uh, let's go and 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 we and we 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 the only escape route out of storms is Christ. Praise the Lord. Your only escape route out of storms is Christ. Praise the Lord. Christ is your only escape route out of storms. Praise the Lord. So don't, don't, don't tell people your traditions. That this is how we so so build that brings traditions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It brings what? Traditions. So we are seeing um the first friend Eliphaz brought what? Human experience. Build that brings what? Human traditions. Where were what they were supposed to do was to do what? They were supposed to come and mourn with him and comfort him. But what they did finally is instead of comforting him, they made him, they actually started doing what? Accusing him that he has sinned against God. Praise the Lord. And so they caused a tirade against him with accusations of and criticism that there is a reason why he has, he is going through this. You don't have to have a reason why you are going through a storm. When the disciples were with Jesus, had they sinned? That's why they, they, they went through the storm. You know when, 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 when Jesus, and, and Jesus was, was asleep under the boat. So what was happening? Had they sinned against God? So some of us, we are not going to be this storm. Where in a you have sinned? But Jesus was in the boat. Jesus is in your heart. He is Lord over your life. And you have accepted him as Lord and Savior. He has released grace for you to go through the storm and to overcome it. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Nothing is working. It's because human traditions cannot work. The solution to your storm is Christ. Hallelujah. The disciples had to come to a place. They had to call on Jesus. They called on Jesus. We must learn how to call on Jesus in our songs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must call on Jesus. You, but hey, let me tell you, you can't be silent in your storm. Oh, storm, 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 storm. Thank you, storm. Oh, storm, storm, storm. Thank you, storm. You need to call on Jesus on your storm. And you don't call on him by complaining and crying. In prayer. In the in declarations of the promises that is in His word over your life. Praise the Lord. You don't you, you don't respond. You call on Jesus. But then tell you, when there is a storm, don't be silent. Call on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then Lakini, declare the word. Tamka neno of God upon your life. Speak the promises upon your life in the midst of the storm. 
praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Then you, you, this, this day, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will suffer. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Lord, I bless you. I might not have supper now. But I bless you, Lord. You remain Jehovah Jireh. You never go against your word. But you see, you can decide. You can't see my children. I have nothing. Lord, you can't see. I have been faithful in church. Hey! You don't overcome storms that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You call on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You call on who? You call on Jesus. But then you declare the promises. The promises. Lord, your word says that I am the head and not the tail. So you, you don't go there waiting. Now, I, I, I'm done. Because this is cold war. But let me tell you something. <laughs> she knows. We went through some of these challenges. Remember, at a time where we could not even talk to each other. Because we were talking to each other. We were talking to each other. You know, we are not making things better. Hallelujah. The funny thing, wakati wote tumekusana hivyo, na when I when I would go to minister, na Mungu anashuka na anointing. Ah. Sasa nashindwa. Sasa God, how can you come with anointing? Je, mungu, na na mungu kwa upako, nyumba ni mashindwa kumanage. Na nyumbani ni nashindwa. Mm. Ilifika ili mahali tukasema nini? Cease fire. Tulisema nini? No more fighting. Hakuna kupigana. Siku hizi tunaangaliana tu. Eh, hey, oh okay. Ukiona mtu ameamka akana mtu yake unamwangalia tu. Eh, hey, hey, praise the Lord. <laughs> na unaenda tu zangu. Hata ufikirii mambo mingi. Praise the Lord. Because we overcame some things. We went above some things. Let me tell you the people of God. There are some storms that you must go above. You must go above. Don't give the devil a chance to keep bringing you down. You must go above some storms. Praise the Lord. And you know you have a lot of people. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Storms come to mature us. There are storms that God allows in our lives. They come to mature us. Praise the Lord. So not all storms are bad. Praise the Lord. Not all storms are bad. They come to do what? To mature. Wakati umapanda mahindi. Si uwa unenda kupalilia. Mbona huo mbona huo unapalilia? Kuondoa mambo. Ndio ifanye nini? Eh? Ukikweza kupalilia, hiyo hiyo mimea itaitamea vizuri. Si lazima utoe magugu. Si ndio? Na God has brought the storms to remove the magugu in your life. He has brought the storms so that some things can change. Some things can be pruned. Why? He wants the best version of you out. Kwa sababu anataka uweze kukua mzuri zaidi. Hallelujah. The best version is coming out. So the storm is not going to kill you. The disciples are with Jesus. When there was the storm, the moment the storm stopped, they said, what kind of man is this? What man of man is this? Child of God, once you've gone through a storm, you are level with God, go to another nation. You will not be made the same Christian. You will be saying, oh, what God is this? Praise the Lord. And the same as who are with Jesus. They are not the same as those who are away. They saw the man Jesus who could speak to the storms and the storms could listen to him. Hallelujah. So don't be worried about some storms. It is the thing that you have to do to prune you so that your productivity can come out. 
kukusaidia ili uweze kunawiri zaidi haleluya haleluya so that your, your, your fruit your fruit can come out ili uweze kuzaa matunda praise the lord kile wewe wako tu pale tu unataka unataka ukae na magugu sasa magugu imeiko na wewe ndio mahindi kwa sababu unalia tu unalia tu so kumali mungu atoe hiyo magugu ndio and some of those pruning that God wants to do he will do it through that song bwana kufanya ni kupitia dhoruba hiyo praise the lord bwana asifiwe so don't, don't don't go people of god listen to me today watu wa mungu naomba mnisikize siku ya leo do not you cannot overcome storms with crying complaining running away hawezi kushinda dhoruba kwa kunungunika kulia kutoroka unashinda dhoruba kwa kumuita yesu unashinda dhoruba by sticking to the promise of god usimama kwenye amri za mwenyezi mungu unashinda dhoruba kwa kubaki na amri za mwenyezi mungu kwa kutegemea yeye if you don't come ukimwambia kama hautakuja we are dying on this boat tunamalizwa kwenye mashua hii praise the lord na hiyo storm pia inakuja kukutengeneza wewe pia is the lord amen but they, you know these things are good mambo haya ni mema they build you yanakujenga haleluya haleluya and that was the same when my wife used to tell me wewe una roho kwa kiniambia eh i hope squeezy squeezy but i go ngumu praise the lord and you know so there are storms that had to come so that that lazima kuna dharuba ambazo zingekuja you know mimi I don't get moved over mambo mingi tu. Wewe utakaa pale utalia nda kwa kadia tu. Alafu nikwambie. Hey. You need to do 1 2 And I'm I'm done. So you see what happens is there's something that God wanted to do in my heart. Kuna jambo ambalo Mungu alitaka kufanya kwa wewe. Now God wants to do something in your heart. Mungu anataka kufanya jambo katika moyo wako. Allow him to do it. Mruhusu akalifanye. Allow him to change you. Msaidie akawaze kukupigania. Mruhusu akakupogoe. Praise the Lord. Imagine hii storm imekuja umekataa. <laughs> Unadhania the next storm ambayo itakuja. Si hii magugu ilikuwa ndogo ndogo, si ndio? Mm. Na umekataa hii storm imekuja umekataa kufanywa nini? Kufanywa pruning. Mvua imezidi kunyesha miaka kadhaa imeenda. Hiyo magugu itakuwa inatosha naje. Kuitoa itakuwa aje. So the next storm so must be strong ba, 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 enough. Ndio iki iki shake mzuri ili aze kukutetea. Ndio magugu itoke. Sasa wewe usikubali tu once. Mungu anaita amesema hii som haikumalizi. Yesu amekala tu. Is asleep. You just call on him, but you must be willing to be what? To be pruned. Unapaswa kuwa tayari kupogolewa. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You ever think that but then, you know Job made 74 charges against God. Ayubu alitengeneza. If you read if you look at the book, book of Job He made 74 charges against God. Ukiangalia kitabu cha Ayubu utapata kwamba alifanya charges la wama 74 kwake Mwenyezi Mungu. Did you, do you ever think that even him would have come to that place? I've been on that some of us we think that we are very strong Christians until one day ujipate umeanguka shule ah mimi nianguke. I thought I was I'm, I'm in a bindia. You thought I was I was a strong Christian. And then una ngo like aya mimi kume mimi i can struggle yes because god is allowing the storms ndio kwa maana mungu anakubali zifanye nini to prune you ziweze kukupogoa hallelujah so don't die in the storm basi usikufe kwenye dhoruba hii become that productive vessel kuwa chombo hicho cha mazao ambacho mungu anataka ukawe praise the lord now the next friend was called zofar rafiki mwingine alikuwa Sofar was an 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 amathite. Sofar alikuwa ametoka na amathi and he was from uh, for, for, from Nama, the southern frontier of Judah. Kutoka eneo la Yuda. He came to Job alimjia, with what we call human merits. Alimjubia alim alimjia Ayubu kupitia kusahihishwa kwa kiwanadamu. Praise the Lord. Unajua kuna human merit. Kuna vile vile binadamu atakagua mambo aseme ah uh, hivi naona hivi tunaona hii iko sawa. Sindio? Lakini Mungu Mungu God does not deal with human merit. Mungu hatembei kulingana na kusahihisha kwa mwanadamu. He releases his grace. Anaachilia neema yake. Not human merit. Sio sahihi ya mwanadamu. Ndio ndio anaweza kukuambia tick wewe lakini hakuna tick until God says tick. There is nothing that will work. Hadi Mungu atakaposahihisha hautakuwa jambo lolote. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So we want to to to, to see. Tunataka eh. kuona. Mimi tunaona una mwangalo una hii mwili yako bila tunaona hii mwili yako tunaona iko kubwa sana wewe endaka wewe wa ufungi. Who told you? Ya kwa mtu mtu ambaye anafunga lazima akue achiti. Achiti is a Greek word. 
That means mutu slender, slender, achiti, achiti, okay. okay. I don't know. Achiti, achiti is a slender. So, who told you? There are people who will pray and fast and they will not change. You know that? Not at funga na waome na wata bata. Sister, sister, I don't think you're praying enough. I don't think. This pot belly, wh eh, 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 who told you? That is your merit. You don't know them and their God. Hallelujah. You don't know them and their God. But we want to use human merit. To explain why someone is going to happen. I think, sister, nowadays, nowadays you don't smile, they used to smile a lot. In a car nowadays, you don't pray a lot. You know, who told you? Some of us, our face could be, could be tough like a lion. Like in Dani, we are smiling. And there are others who, on, the, on their faces, they could, could be smiling, but inside is rotten. Um, when I'm talking about it, and I'm smiling now, like in Dani, it's a good thing. And when I'm talking about it, it's a good thing. And when I'm talking about it, it's a good thing. So when we want to use human merit to explain why someone is going to a storm, then we are out of order. Praise the Lord. Now, finally, we are seeing that uh, after these three friends tried, and they could not convince him. So there's a man no, called Elihu. Elihu was the third friend, the fourth friend. Elihu and Elihu was mad. He was like, how can you, Eliphaz, and how can you build that? And how can you so far not make this man know that he has sinned? Bona umeshindo wewe Elihu, Elifazi na Sofari kumshawishi komba. So, what did he do? He again spoke to Job and tell Job, Job, you, you must have sinned. Do you know what Job did? Job did not answer him. People of God, in some storms, you don't need to talk. In some storms, you don't need to talk. Just be silent. Hallelujah. In some storms, you don't need to talk. Just be silent. Praise the Lord. Elio Alizania, come up, Eliphaz, na build that. Na so far, we should have. Yeah, I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. Trying to justify to Job why he has sinned. Job did not talk. Job did not answer him. Job went silent. Ayubu alikimia. Kuna storms ingine hata usionge? Kuna. Wala sizana. Kuna watu ingine hata wakukwete mamama mambo yao usionge? The reason why we have trouble in our marriages. Do you know why? Ingine tunapitia shida katika ndoa zetu. Jamaa amekuja na mambo yake hiyo siku. Amekuja amekupeleka mbio. Na wewe umeanza. Sasa ni the whole night. Tugudu, 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 tugudu. Mpaka asubuhi. But kama uwe wako kama kama job, kuna wakati the enemy comes in the form of Eliu. Don't talk. Just be silent. But you know, alinyamaza hivyo yapia. Wewe, kusabu unaongea, no wana you are finding more warfare. You are trying to justify. Don't justify. If you are going through a storm, you are going through a storm. Call on God. Stick to his promises. He will give you a way of escape. Don't try to justify. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't justify. Praise the Lord. Don't justify. Mzena kuja amekuleta mbio mbio tu hata uongee unanyamaza tu oh holy spirit hold my mouth hold my mouth Nishikilia mdomo bwana nishikilie <laughs> Praise the Lord Na unaambia una, una, Mungu akushikilie Praise the Lord Amen Sasa wewe wewe umeongea umeongea ndio sababu umepandikwa Na next day unaenda kazini uko umepimba Unaelewa what happened at I fell down si kuanguka you need to keep quiet some things, some storms you just silence. Let God fight for you. If heavenly armor will enter the land, the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. There are some battles you need to give to God. Some storms give them to God. Just call on Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm your neighbor. 
be, be wise like, like Job. There are some storms. Don't go speaking out much. Just be silent. Let God be. Let God prevail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when people have accused you. Sirio. Oh, you are going all over to lobby. Instead of lobby, why don't you go to God? Kneel before God. Tell Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. As long as I live. I have served you. I have honored you. Now I pray Jehovah because I carry your name. In my heart is you, Lord Jesus. Today, may you fight for me this battle. You'll find confusion in the enemy's tent. Hello? Hello. See, they, they wanted, you remember the men who were building the, 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 the ladder to heaven? Then, what did the Lord do? The Lord brought confusion. They were speaking one language. The Lord made them start to speak many languages. You get that? So, yeah, that's Ngima. Ngima in one language is Ugali. Sirio. Kwetu Ngima is life. So, Nambia, where are you? Ngima. Yeah, I'm going to tell Ugali. Like, you know, Ngima, life. Nakosana. So, God brings confusion in the enemy's tent. Hallelujah. So, there are some storms don't talk. Be quiet. Jehovah God that you serve shall bring confusion in the enemy's tent. And they them themselves shall start speaking the truth of what was likely to us to use your Praise the Lord. Mm. They colluded to make you get out of your works. They'll start fighting. And they'll start speaking the truth of what was real or really happened. Praise the Lord. So there are some storms you need to be silent. Focus to Jesus. Don't go everywhere telling people now, now, now. Where is this? But then, you know, you can see a person who has a suit like this. And you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that. You know that? You know that? A person who has a suit like this. Umuinue umwenye hivi Hakuna nini otongolo Hakuna bia Sidiyo Lakini Zama maevaa kama hii Hii kijana hii Yo.com Uneza mshika hii ufanya Ufanya mamia mia Ma thousands na tokezea Praise the Lord Sisa wewe You are going through the storm Don't put on any early Put on well Go out there and represent Jesus Soka uko nje na uka mwakilisha yes Sister praise the Lord As a fact help me with a thousand Oh God of the heavens, I bless you, Father, that you have found me once that I can be asked for a thousand. Lord, a time is coming, Jehovah. A time is coming, Jehovah. I shall release this to the people. I can't even bless. No. You shall go to Jehovah. You have found me once. So you are in the midst of a storm. But God has covered your countenance. Hallelujah. You are going through a storm. But God has covered your countenance. When they look at you, they don't see the papa. They see the glory of God. Why? Because you have known. He cannot allow you to go through what you can't hold. And because you're going through it, Christ is in it. There is an escape route. In the meantime, silent and, and, and walk smart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I walk from town. Are you the first one to walk from town? There was a time I was in school. I, I keep telling her. I walked no, on the way. I was at a scholar. It was at the time of El Nino. El Nino Kagonga. Back then, we used to do javelin. How many remember javelin? Javelin. Javelin ni hile, kwa gari muna pangwa kama chapati. Muna skumwa nyuma, muna pangwa, pangwa. Yani, ata kubrit, unayeka nukono juu, juu, juu. Tuweza kubrit, muna pangwa, pangwa. Sasa hiyo siku, ata hiyo kupangwa, pangwa, siku wana pesa juu. Kupangwa, pangwa ikuwa ni shingi kumi. Hiyo siku wamesema, juu ya koro, hiyo el nino, kupangwa, pangwa ni thate. Sasa ndo hiyo mimi, na bagi ya shule, on the way from town, bio, bio, na mvua ina kugonga. Sasa utasema, na mvua ina, I don't have parents, why can't I, wewe, 
If God has allowed you kama Mungu amekuruhusu maybe kulikuwa na kila kitu kwa roho ambayo inakusumbua Mungu anataka ukimbie hiyo mbio ndio hiyo roho ipatikane they had to start pumping na huko pale wako blow oh god wow see the bigger picture in the storm there is always a bigger picture in the storm the picture of god the picture of the glory of god the picture of the picture of god the picture of the power of god picture of nguvu za mungu katika dhoruba ona picture ya mungu kwa maana it is what god is saying maana sio kila macho unapitia bali ni mungu aliye ndani hallelujah 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 sasa mimi nilikimbia mpaka also kutoka town mpaka also I didn't die. Nikufa. Sasa wewe some small unaweza ku complain. Oh God, why you will not die? Na utakufa. Says Lord, do you know Job wished he could die? Angekufa. Je, unataka kwamba Yobu alitamani ape? Wewe ambaye unakufa ufufi utakaa. Yesu 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 ainuliwe kwa maisha yako. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are not going anywhere. The enemy can take you nowhere. God will keep you here in the land of the living. He will keep you in the land of the living to be a blessing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now I want to give us three things and I finish. Now listen carefully. God is not in the activity of breaking you. Mungu hayuko kwenye kazi ya kukuvunja. That is the work of the devil. Hiyo ni kazi ya yule Mungu. God is in everything to build you, to Mungu make you. Mungu kukujenga na kuku. Satan's work is to do what? Kazi ya yule Mungu is to break you. Ni to destroy you. Kukuaribu. To kill you. Kukuwa. But God's work is to do what? Lakini kazi ya Mungu is ni to make you. Ni kukutengeneza. Now Anna said a few things. Naomba tukaelewe mambo kadha wa kadha. Now every sickness and disease kila ugonjwa na maradhi yule ambaye ni mwanzilishi wa mambo haya ni shetani praise the lord shetani and satan he also has his helpers hapa kwa dunia akona watu wake akona wasaidizi ana suli some verses number to some mr let's look at second corinthians 11:14 second corinthians 11:14 hallelujah second corinthians 11:13 to 14 akorinda wa pili 11 11 aha for such a false and deceitful transforming themselves into what haya abu soma hiyo they are what they are false so hear me carefully they are false apostles they are false prophets they are false pastors they are false evangelists they are false teachers of the word na au ni agents wa nani? Wa shetani. Kazi yao ni to bring the storms. Kazi yao ni kuleta dhoruba. They transform themselves into what? Wanajibadilisha kuwa mitume. Now let's look at verse 14. Oh Christ. No wonder for Satan himself transforms himself into what? An angel of light. Sasa wewe unapitia storm atamaka na kuzaa kanakwambia <laughs> leave your husband there is another man there is another man who can marry you kuna mwanamume kule nje ambaye atakuwa then the man comes kisha mwanamume huyo anakwambia i go to church hey bless the lord hey <laughs> angel of light kanisa <laughs> they disguise themselves as what wanajifanya kama kina nani as angels of light kama malaika wa mwangaza wewe Baki pale ambapo Mungu amekuweka. Praise the Lord. In fact that nowadays young people when they want to marry they are looking at the man does he have anything? Kuna utongolo. Siku hizi vijana kabla ya kuoa wanaangalia jeu. Pengine Mungu amekuletea utamaa kuna chochote. Kama hana kitu. Ndio kwanza you connect in your heart. Akupatie heshima, si ndio? Kini wewe unataka ule ambaye kwa nini? Utongolo ama bia ama besha. Then what happens? The moment you get married, you now see the angel of light who you thought was light, he was not light. Unapoona unagundua kwamba huyu alitifanya malaika wa mwangaza. It is ah, that's that's leave your husband. That's leave your wife. Muache mumewe, muache mke. She's shady. That's the lie of the devil. Huo ni uongo wa shetani. So even listen carefully, in the midst of a storm, katika dhoruba, the enemy will come 
as an angel of light. Adui atakuja kama malaika. You need divine wisdom. Unahitaji hekima. You need divine discernment. Unahitaji uwezo wa kubainisha. To distinguish ili uweze kujua between those who are the helpers of Satan wale ambao ni wasaidizi wa shetani. And those who God has sent for you. Na wale ambao Mungu amewatuma kwa ajili yao. To stand with you in the storm. Kusimama na wewe katika dhoruba. Praise the Lord. Bwana He will transform himself into an angel of light. Kuwa malaika wa mwangazi. Yeah, you want promotion? Unataka kupandishwa chama. Ah, kwa sasa hizo kwa nyumba hakuna kitakula. Afya boss comes and tells you. Just just give in. Let's just go. Let's go. I will buy you. Where where? Where where? In the middle of a storm. Katika dhoruba. Watch out for the end, for the for, for the agents of Satan. Kwa ajili ya wafuasi wa shetani. They come as angels of light. Ambao wanajisingizia kuwa malaika wa Mungu. To make you lose your birthright. They come as angels of light. To make you lose your salvation. Watch out! Watch out. By the way, let me tell you. Even if the storm is too much, don't compromise your salvation. Hear me carefully. He will come as an angel kama malaika of light wa mwangaza in the midst of your storm katika dhoruba yako he will come atakuja as an angel of light kama mwangaza in the midst of the storm katika dhoruba yako hallelujah in the midst of the storm katika dhoruba yako but what must you do lakini je unapaswa kufanya nini you must have the discernment unapaswa kuwa na uwezo wa kubainisha to see ili uweze kuona what god has brought together kile ambacho mungu amekuanzisha kusiwe na mwanadamu atakayekuanzisha kile ambacho mungu amekuanzisha hakuna mwanadamu anayeweza kumaliza ni mungu anayeweza kumaliza kile ambacho alianzisha praise the lord bwana sifiwe praise the lord bwana sifiwe watch out here mikia kwa mwangalifu Any, every time you are in a storm kila wakati unapokuwa kwenye dhoruba the enemy will come and attack you as an angel of light kujia na kufanyia mashambulizi kama malaika wa Mungu anakwambia ah huyu bibi amekusumbua sana ana hiyo siku utoroke kanisa uende kanisa nyingine upate mwingine hapa anakusmailia praise the lord brother mpaka unatoa unatoa ring nuweke uweke kando wow wow that is an angel of the what was the angel of the, of the devil coming as an angel of what ni shetani akija kama malaika wa mwangaza. Do good. Unapaswa kutenda mema. Stand with the word of God. Simama kwenye neno la Mungu. Even in the midst of the storm. Hata katika dhoruba. Ato, you know I, I, my kids are going are going to go hungry. I have Yawa to compromise. Who told you they will go hungry? Nani aliyekuambia kitu hapo? If the bad air. Kama ndege wa angali. If they no they have something to eat. God of has organized how these things happen. Who told you that you can trust God? And God will provide for you. Na Mungu akatoa kwa yako katika dhoruba hii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't compromise. Usijichanganye. Don't compromise in the storm. Usijichanganye katika dhoruba. The enemy will come as an angel of light. Adui atakuja kama malaika wa Let's look at I can say our time is over. Let's look at Let's look at at Revelation. Tuangalie kitabu cha chapter 12. Upunua. Verse 7 to 12. Revelation 12. Verse 7 to 12. Hallelujah. I want to try to wrap this up. Hallelujah. I'm going to wrap it up. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And war, listen here carefully. Let's read together. And war broke out in heaven. Hallelujah. Michael and his angels fought with who? With the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. So are you seeing The devil has his angels. Je, umeona kwamba shetani hakuna malaika wake? Verse 8. Mstari wa 8. But they did not prevail. Look at that. Please underline that in your Bible. Naomba ukatie mstari mahali pale. The enemy will not prevail in your storm. Ndui hatashinda katika dhoruba. Look up to Jesus. Mtazamie Yesu. Look up to Jesus. Mtazamie Yesu. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from where I come from. My help comes from the Lord. Msaada wangu unatoka kwake Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was warfare. Kulikuwa na vita. But the devil did not prevail. Lakini adui hakushinda. Not was there a place found for them in heaven any longer. Walikuwa na mahala pao huko mbinguni. Verse 9. So the great dragon was cast out and that serpent of old called the devil satan who deceives the world he was cast to the earth and his angels cast out with him 
verse 10. Then I heard a loud voice in the heaven saying, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ Jesus has come. For the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God day and night, has been cast down. That is the fate of the enemy. He went to accuse Job before God. But now we are told salvation and strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his grace has come. For the accuser of the brethren has been cast down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has been cast down. He has been cast down. No storm shall overcome you. No storm shall overwhelm you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me carefully. Please get me this. Uh, no. you me this. When you are on a road and there are holes on the road can you drive? Can you move fast? What happens if you drive fast? If you drive fast, there are potholes. Yes. If you drive fast, there are potholes. What will happen? You know that? Now, God is saying this. Hear me carefully. Please get this. God does not do patch making. He is the creator. So where there is anomaly in your life, he will not patch, make patches. The creator. Praise the Lord. God does not do patches. When God is renewing you, no wonder the storm you are going through, God, God is just trying to recreate you afresh. You, you are there, you are crying, Lord, why? I have seen your life has been having photos. I have seen your life has been having holes. I have seen your life has been having emptiness. I have seen your life has been having sin. God will not come and say, Pat, 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 what God will do? Because He is the Creator. He is the Creator. He will remove it and make it afresh. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. the storm you are going through is not because God left you. God is working out your life in a better manner. He is recreating your life in a better manner. He is the Creator. He doesn't want to fill you in a bottle. When you are going to make a caratas, you are going to make a caratas. Maybe you are going to make a caratas. I am at a ill dust. You know, ill ill dust bin. What am I going to do? It dies. No. So imagine your life. Apa you make a dust bin? He bottle. You make a marriage. He bottle. You make a nini? You turn around. He bottle. You give me a nini? You nini give me a copper bar? The simiti. Now, God does not work that way. God is the creator. He sees that your life is in a mess. So, he will just, he's a potter. He will remove you afresh and recreate you afresh. Now, you, when God is recreating you afresh, you think you are going through a storm. But once you see the finished product of God, the finished product, it will not be that's been, it will be the perfection of God on earth. So that storm is not to kill you. He is creating you afresh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In his image. In his likeness. Hear me carefully. God does not do part making. He recreates. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No wonder if it is sickness in your body. And for a few years, no. He will recreate your body afresh. He knows every organ in your body. He knows every pain in your heart. He can recreate afresh. So the storm you are going through is because you are being recreated. Anabomoa, bomoa, bomoa, anatakeza upia. 
But us, what do we do? Sisi, we, we want God to partake us. Tunataka Mungu atuwekee kiraka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Chicken. How many love chicken? Let me see here. Wangapi wanapenda kuku? As I please, how many love chicken? Oh. Let me ask a question. Let me say again, how many love chicken? Tajione tena wangapi wanapenda kuku? Who is having a vision of, of opening up a, a chicken business? There's, there are customers here. <laughs> now, <laughs> now hear me carefully. Now, chicken, there's a process to making the chicken. Sindio? Kuna njia ya kumpika kuku. Unatoa kwa za manyonyoya. Ni manyoa, manyoa, manyoa. Eh? Si unatoa ile feathers. Unaweka kwa za kwa moto, unakuwa za toa manyoya. Sindio? Alau kushato manyoya, unachomelea kidogo ndio si ndio alafu unakata kata lakini au utaipika kwanza kuna vitu ndani lazima utoe si uchafu si ndio lazima fanya nini itolewe ni kweli ndio ile itabaki ni ile unaweza ku sasa wewe Mungu ameza stomach iko kwa maisha yako anatoa manyoya kwanza unikulize kuku ukitoa manyoya utaikula hivyo sasa wewe uko your first storm ni yo manyoya Mungu ametoa manyoya una complain oh god come Mungu anasema bado bado I am not yet done Bado nataka nikuchome chome kidogo before niko nyeti kukataka Sasa wewe your storm ni manyoya umeza kulia Dhuruba yako Ambia Mungu ila unafia kwa maisha yangu do it well So that when I come out I am perfected in your purpose. Mungu kanifanyia vyema ili ninapotoka nikakuwa kipya. Je, so wewe utakula kuku ambayo hata haijatengenezwa? Na by the way, sasa wewe you want to get out of the storm. While bado kuku kwa manyoya bado ina manyoya inatolewa. Itakuwa kuku kweli? Aya, mwingine unaenda kutoka bado unatengenezwa ndani wanatoa ile mauchafu. Wewe unataka upikwe na mpaka bile. Bile ikiingia ndani utakula kuku? Au utakula Mungu anaenda bado in your heart there's a bile anataka atoe. So anaanza bado hiyo storm. Storm inakutandika wacha atoe yote. Akisha maza hiyo bado jaisha. Sasa sasa ni kuipika. Si ni kweli? So which was your first storm? Manyoya your first storm. Second storm? Dhuruba ya pili. Ile moto kuwekelewa, si ndio? Third storm? Ukatakana kutoa uchafu hiyo. Alafu kupikwa. Sasa wewe ukinotaka Mungu unataka Mungu akutoe sasa hizo na ujaiva utaenda kwa dunia utapotea God is saying I'm not yet done with you Anasema sijamalizana na wewe Nataka nikutengeneze uive Ukikula hivi unasikia nyororo So ile kuku na kula unasikia hata unauma meno inatoka Praise the Lord God, God is preparing you Mungu anakutayarisha So that storm is a preparation kuna kumatayarisha. Hallelujah. It's not unto death. Sio kwa kifo. It's a what? A preparation. Bali ni matayarisha. The glory of God. Utukufu wa Mungu. That came upon Job. Ambao ulimjia. After the storm. Baada ya hey! dhuruba. Was greater. Ulikuwa mkuu zaidi. Than his former. Zaidi ya ule aliyopita. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So how many are going through storms? Wangapi tunapitia dhuruba? Some of you unaweza kwa maybe uko kwa manyoya bado. Wengine wako wapi? Kwa ile moto ya kutengeneza kwa yako. Wengine bado Mungu anatoa uchafu. Wengine Mungu bado anakupika ndio uive. Na by the way, ukiiva, hiyo kuku inakuliwa hivyo. Sasa lazima kuwe na kitu na, 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 na search. Sasa wewe wewe umeiva, unataka kutoka. Mungu anasema I am not yet done. Let me bring search. Ndio ikikamatwa vizuri unashiba. Allow God to build you. Ruhusu Mungu akakujenga. Those storms are not killing you. Dhuruba hizi hazitakumaliza. Haleluya. That's why when you come to the house of God, you worship him. Mungu unamwabudu. You bless him. Unambariki. You praise him. Unamsifu. Praise the Lord. Finally, now this is my finally. Haleluya. Nikita Nikita this is finally. Mumbe jirani hapa ni mwisho kabisa. Tell them finally. Mumbe hatimaye. Now, how many of us know a key? Wangapi miongoni wetu tunajua kifunguo? Tunajua kifunguo. Wakati kifunguo umeenda kufungua mlango na imekwama ikakatika ndani hiyo mlango utafungua utafanya nini eh wait tujibu tu 
Umeenda kufungua mlango yako na mlango umefanya nini? Kifungua imejifunga ndani, imekatika ndani. What will you do? Ask neighbor. What will you do? Kufanya nini? What will you do? Kufanya nini? Eh? Eh, uta? Ungatoanisha. Kwa sababu hawezi ivuta. Lazima uende ufunugue hiyo the whole lock yote. Si ndio? Yote. Now, why don't why is it that we, Mungu anaona kuwa maisha yako kuna mali imekwama? Anataka kutengeneze. Na wewe unakataa wewe unataka uvutwe. Utaumia. Wacha Mungu akutoanisha yote. Ndio mlango ifunguke. Praise the Lord. Amen. So that those things have blocked your life. Some storms have blocked your life. God does not do he doesn't want to hurt you. So what do you do? He will undo everything. Ataharibu kila kitu atabomoa vitu vingi. Ndio utokeze vizuri. Vizuri. Na ndio mlango ifanye nini? Ifunguke. Praise the Lord. So don't 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 be worried about the storm. Bas usishtuliwe na dhoruba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be worried about the storm. Usikuwe na wasiwasi kwa ajili ya dhoruba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will do an overhaul. Mungu atafanya ujenzi upya. So stop pursuing to open the door. Wacha kungangana kufungua mlango. Let God mbira. overhaul your life. Wacha Mungu akashikilia maisha yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana so asifiwe. Every storm kila dhoruba that we receive ambalo tunalipokea Every storm that we receive kila dhoruba ambalo tunalipokea gives us an opportunity inatupa nafasi to see a new perspective of God. Ya kupata mtazamo mpya wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Every storm kila dhoruba both physical and spiritual ya kimwili na ya kiroho that we go through ambalo tunaipitia gives us an opportunity inatupa nafasi to see a new perspective of God. Ili kupata mtazamo mpya wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today I'm going to be at peace. Mwambie jirani awe na amani. Ndeba neba be at peace. Mwambie jirani jirani uwe na amani. You are traversing through the storm. Unavuka dhoruba. When peace like a river attend my way. When soul billows roll. Come on let's stand up and declare the song. Whatever and thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well it is well with my soul when peace like a river let's lift our declare let peace like a river and when peace like a
Tell him, Lord, this storm cannot finish me. Tell him, Lord, it is well in my soul. It is well. My brother, my brother, my brother, Every storm in your life today, in the name of Jesus, it shall not confuse you. It shall not bring you down. It will not wear you down. You will not be ashamed. You will not be destroyed. I declare now you are latter. Your latter shall be greater than your past. Every storm today. Wow! In the name of Jesus. Receive new strength. Receive new strength. I declare order in your life. Order upon your children. Order upon your spouse. Order upon your business. Order upon your career. Order of God. I now declare. As Christ Jesus. Watch the storm. And there was coolness. I now declare. Peace. Upon your life. Quietness. Upon your life. Tranquility. Upon your life. Every storm. Killer the ruba. Every storm. Killer the ruba. Hear the voice. Skia sauti. Hear the voice. Skia sauti. Over Lord Jesus Christ. You have overcome. Umeshindo. By your testimonies. Kwa utu shuhuda. Umeshinda. By your testimonies. Kwa shuhuda wako. Umeshinda. Kwa damu ya mwana kondo Kila dhoruba Inama Katika jina kula yesu I bless you I bless your children I bless your womb I bless the works of your hands I bless everything that concerns you Your going and coming out is blessed Your career is blessed Your marriage is blessed Your children are blessed Every door that is locked today Be thou open In the name of Jesus God's peace be upon you, upon your mind, upon your heart, upon every part of you, in Jesus' name. Let's declare a big amen. Let's declare a big amen. Let's declare a big amen.